we are looking at a peak of Lauka. Uh, I've had this tree for about a year. I haven't done any work on it and I thought it's time I took a closer look at it and started sorting it out. Uh, it was uh, part exchanged for a chunky field maple that I had. It's been wired and uh, a lot of the wire branches are dead and dying so I'm going to remove all the wires and also the trunk is a bit there's moss and it's wet so I'm going to try and tidy that up as well also remove all these weeds yeah the trunk is very very wet that's a bad sign also couldn't quite see not quite sure what sort of soil is under there but it's very very wet it may need repotting but i'm gonna do not gonna do it now you'll have to wait till march as not taking taking any chances with this tree it's a fairly substantial tree and i don't know what i'm going to find in there so it's best to wait so the first thing i'm going to do is take off these wires which are going around the pot and I don't think the wires have done it any good if anything I have found that at many times the wired branches are the ones that die back and that's happened in this case I'm going to remove all these wires and we'll catch up shortly. Well, today I have uh, just about managed to clean the pot, all the weeds and all the other rubbish that was in here. And also polish the pot and remove all the wires. There was a fair amount of dead wood. Some of the branches which were wired have died. And uh, I've removed all the wires and uh, that's as far as I can go today with this tree. I'll give it a quick turn. And uh, I prefer this natural look as opposed to heavily wired sort of approach. And uh, the wire, I'm not quite sure how long the wire was in, um, but there's just one branch here up top over here which has been wired which is marked by the wires so they must have been in for quite some time and uh, right give it another quick turn and we are back to where we started thank you for watching to watch more please subscribe this is Iqbal Khan for Mick Bonsai in West London Now for the afterthought. There were these two Brits in a game reserve in Kenya. And they're wandering around and they see a lion and they just freeze in their tracks and the lion sees them and everyone is still for a moment and one of the guys gets his running shoes out of his backpack and starts putting them on. And his friend looks at him and says, you're not going to outrun the lion and the other chap turns around and says, well, I'm going to outrun you. 